Uh, this is Dragon, and we are at Stanley's Kamikaze. Stanley's Kamikaze is again for the people. Um, Comic Con is a big thing that people have gone to for years, but it got more and more hard for just the regular fan to be able to come to. Kids couldn't even afford to come anymore. So Stan Lee instead has changed that ball game again, and he has opened it up for the kids again. Kids up to the age of 12 are free, and, and Stan knows what he's doing. There's a lot of good vendors here and a lot of good people here. We've been invited before. Last year we came in and did a booth, so this year we brought another booth. And what you're seeing around here, what you will see is stuff from Star Wars and from different movies that we've done from both the video games and the movies. Hey, I'm Lucky McQueedy with Renegade Effects Group. Uh, Renegade Effects Group is a film company that works in props, costuming, special effects, and stunts and everything. Myself, I'm a stuntman, martial artist, and a prop maker, and a costume maker. The, the greatest thing about being able to bring stuff like what we have from the movies and props and, and films uh, out to a con is the interaction with the fans. They're so amazed that we allow people this close to the outfits and bring it out for them to see. Everyone's just like, oh my god, I didn't realize that's how they do it in film. This is one of the Jedi suits from the New York event. We made the Jedi, the Sith, and the bad guy Darth Malgus for the event itself in New York Times Square. These are also from the video game Star Wars The Old Republic, which is what we were, we were contacted by LucasArts to do. We built the costumes in less than a month. It was 24 costumes, uh, including prototypes. This is my Darth Malgus suit. This was all metal here, as you're seeing here. My stepson, Sane Charles Stein, did the actual metal hammered out parts for us. And then myself and a crew went through and remade the parts in plastics. I did the original chest here out of uh, plastics and wood, then molded it and did it in rubber. This is the Vader suit that I wore on the cover of Wired Magazine. Um, we have photos here from the actual shoot, and then this was also used on the cover of Coruscant Nights, which is one of the Star Wars books. I was the actual Darth Vader on that cover, and Laurel Blackman, who was one of the artists, played the Jedi for the book cover itself. The Vader head you see here is a life cast of Vader from the third Star Wars film, from uh, the, the, the very last one in my book. <laughs> but this is a life cast of the guy who played that character. So very rarely do you get to see the actual guy. So this is what we brought up. This was not David Prowse. This was the actor that they hired to be that face. And then this weekend we have Princess Leia here. This is a custom Bosch helmet that's done from the actual molds and stuff. So we brought this guy out. It took about five days just to finish it. But we have it here. And then this is one of the actual Vader helmets here from the shoots that we've been doing. This is uh, a very rare casting. So I've been pretty fortunate. It was given to me years ago. And uh, I managed to make it happen. Hi, I'm Chad. We're uh, definitely a team effort. It's definitely a labor of love, and we all have our, our things that we're good at. One of the things that I'm especially good at is detail work, like this lacing on this samurai armor. This is all my work. This is one of the things I'm really good at, is learning the patterns, being really good at it, being really careful. My hands are not covered in calluses from hitting them with hammers and stuff all day, so I'm able to do this really detailed work. Chad and I do fight demonstrations all around the country, and this suit, is something special because it's a combination of things. This is an actual cosplay armor suit. These are plastics. Everything you hear has been done in plastics. If you shine down here, you'll see this is polyurethane boards, and that's all shoelaces tied together. The trick is to know the Japanese patterns so that it looks correct when it's done. You have to know where the holes are and which ones go where and where it turns and how to weave it all through, but this is one of the things that I'm good at. Chad's job is to do all the lace work. My job is to come up with all this stuff and build all of this stuff. So we combine our skills together and we get this. I really enjoy the cosplay. I'm, I'm really a cosplay nerd. I love meeting everybody. I love seeing what everybody else is doing. And one of the things I really enjoy is people who appreciate what I do and are able to learn something from me from the expertise that I have. This suit here is from the TV series Heroes, okay? And as you can see, this was, a, this was one of the things that was used by a guy named Hiro Nakamura. This is chainmail that was done by Steven Meyer, and then the faceplate itself was done by Wanda Piety, and then the rest of the suit itself we completely rebuilt to actually work for the show. Here's a picture of Hiro wearing the suit on the front of Entertainment Weekly. And the actual suit itself was a Paul Chin suit that they had originally ordered, and then they couldn't use it because the suits didn't fit people. So we tore the suits apart and completely rebuilt the suits to actually work for the actors. The actors that played the character, we had to do six suits for this guy, 
because there was different people that played the characters. There was both his stuntman, there was another gentleman who played a fake version of his character, the Kensai, and then a couple other people. All right, so one of the things that we do at Renegade is we make everything from scratch. It is a one-stop shop. Uh, this is a suit that I had done for Return of the Sun Devil. This is my character suit. Um, it's all out of leather. It's all hand done, hand cut, hand tooled, hand dyed, hand everything. I love coming to these conventions just because I can see everybody in costume. I can, it basically it's like a job fair. I get to meet with other people, producers, whatnot, which is really good for me. But, uh, but basically what I really like the most is kind of like where I was years ago coming to a con. I was just a kid and uh, you know a lot of people came up and gave me words of encouragement and um, and so I really like handing that back down especially if you like little kids that get dressed up. Any type of words of encouragement will last for decades, decades, because I still remember everything that I was told when I was a little kid from the professionals. My name is Doc Gibson. We're out here at Kamikaze Con 2015. I'm with Renegade Effects. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the work I do for them. What I focus on a little bit is I do the latex masks. I particularly work on alien stuff. I can do everything from concept sketches all the way to, through to sculpture and completion and molding. Uh, anything can be done with study and focus. Uh, and, and you look around here, you see the costumes that people are wearing, and you know some of it's really great, and you see that they're, they're at a fan level doing amazing stuff too. And that's kind of where we all started. We were all fans of film, we we're all fans of doing this kind of stuff, and, and it starts off with love of the artwork, and we've kind of you know, congregated together as a group of people that can do some amazing stuff. You know, it's, it's great to see the look on kids' faces when they come around. It's great to see the look on grown kids' faces when they come around. And, and it's really a good time here. There's lots of folks in great costumes and, and great conversations all the way around. Some of the other stuff you see here is an Alexander the Great chest plate that I did. Okay, this, this helmet here is from Heroes. This is a character called Whitebeard. This helmet here is from the Chronicles of Riddick. This is a test helmet for a character called Lord Vako and I had to do everything with faces on it. So it matches the chest plates that I have here too. This is all hand hammered aircraft aluminum. This kind of stuff is a lot easier to work with than steel. Um, it does have its cracking points so you have to anneal the heck out of it, but it is easier to work with and it's one third the weight. Now, this girl's chest plate down here also was done in aircraft aluminum and it was hammered out in about a day. But what you're looking at next to that, this is all steel, this is real armor. This belongs to Chad Volpe. This is his reenactor's armor with everything on it is the real stuff. Steel, steel weapons, steel suit, even the chain itself is a gold-plated real chain. These are the things that we get to do and make. The armor itself is real. Chad fights in this stuff at different recreations, so I mean, it's an amazing thing. This is one of my suits. This suit I just finished doing a photo shoot in with Justice Howard on Sunday. And this suit is my Harryhausen slash Jess Rowe tribute suit. Ray Harryhausen was an early influence on in my life because of the stuff that he did in stop motion animation. He did films like Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger and, and uh, Clash of the Titans, the real one, okay? So this guy did all this stuff. And when I was a kid, my big thing was stop motion animation and the characters that he did. One of the characters that he did was a character called Talos. Talos was a character that stepped off of a giant platform. It was this huge metal man. And that stuck in my head as a kid. So I thought one day I'm going to make that Metal Man suit. Well, I was a huge Harryhausen fan. I started building this, but I also am a fan of my own sensei, Master Ro. Master Ro had teeth that were sharpened. He's passed away since. His teeth were sharp, and so they would mesh like a shark's teeth. So what I did with this was you see the angry face here, and then there's the teeth here. And when, it, when I close this, this actually closes back and forth. And then the trident, there aren't very many of these tridents like this. Uh, this is the only one as we know of in town. This was built by a reaper from Reaper's Forge, a guy named David Forline, and my stepson, St. Charles Stein. This particular sword is one of my favorites. Why is this sword special? I'll show you. When you have a sword, swords should be balanced. There you have it. Now if you look at the length of the sword and what it took to balance it, not bad, huh? These last two suits that you're seeing here, this is a suit from Joan d'Arc the Messenger. This suit is done in aircraft aluminum. The character's name was Lahare, okay? And if you look at this character, this guy had a 52 inch chest. So this suit was literally built as a one of a kind suit for this gentleman, okay? I wear this suit, it's one of mine. I hammered this out with Master Terry English in Cornwall, England. It has both his maker mark and my maker's mark on it. His maker's mark is the T with the crown, which represents the fact that he works for the Queen. I'm the only American assistant to the Queen of England's armor. 
okay? The last suit over here is one of my personal fighting suits. This suit was a pattern that Terry gave me from Excalibur. It was the alternate version of his idea for Lancelot. So I made this suit, you can even see the grail. So I mean, all the stuff you see here has been screen used and we have a lot of fun with it. Plus I've done many fight demonstrations in this stuff. Hi, my name is Derek Okamoto. Today we're at Kamikaze 2015 and we're gonna get Dragon dressed in the Baron suit. It's from uh, the Sun Devil and the Princess. This is a, quite a labor to get him into. A lot of this is, this is all steel. This is not plastic, this is not aluminum. This is the hardcore, real armor suit. A lot of this is very complicated. There are sharp points that he has to watch out for, and there's multiple layers. It's pretty amazing. People are shocked to see how big he gets. In this suit, he's over eight feet tall with the tops of the points of the horns, and he walks with a presence, as most people who know Dragon, he's got a presence to him no matter what he's wearing. I, I like Renegade because we're all a bunch of individuals. A lot of us are martial artists, so we all have that same mentality uh, of you be cool, I'll be cool. We'll have, we'll have fun. We have talented people from different genres, from cosplay to, to prop making, different styles of fighting. And it's just the, the caliber of people that we're dealing with is far more interesting than the usual crowd that you get. Yeah, today we did the uh, walk around for the Sun Devil. We've uh, won 10 awards in a row for the Sun Devil. And that to me is very special. We spent a lot of time and effort on it. It's all of our hard work. Um, the director did a heck of a job. He produced it as well. Um, I'm one of the co-producers on it, as is Alex Villarreal. We, we've all worked our butts off on the film. It's worth it. We know that it's a good story. We have very good stories. It's, it's something fresh and new. Um, everyone who's seen it all said the same thing. Where can we see the finished product? And that's the whole goal, I believe, is to, to go ahead and make our own film. We're waiting for that moment, and we believe we're going to have it. It's some of the best that we can do. The film itself was worth doing. It's basically all of our hard work and the culmination of what your film career, all the things you've done, comes to. Can you make your own film instead of just someone else's? This is our film. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna make an incredible piece. All right, looks like we're done. We've uh, taken the trip to the con, we've wandered around and uh, jumped on the red carpet. We've shown some people some really cool stuff. We've had a lot of interest in the things that we do and we've enjoyed ourselves. We've brought a lot of smiles to people. They enjoyed the booths that we set up, and we think that we did a pretty good job with it. Everybody that we know has enjoyed what they've seen. And for me, that's the smiley part of the program. That's what makes it worth it.